Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a $35 Iron Man, so the winning team will win $35, and the losing team will lose $35, it's a 2v2, also you can go ahead and check out Dragon Riders Games Facebook page, link down below in the description, if you want to go ahead and play in any of their future Iron Mans, we have New Blood versus Yada, and then hopping right in, we're going to see New Blood win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, and they're going to go first, 42 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Sprite Blue, Ipra, Swap Frog, Bell, and Freezing Curses. Then they have Shadal Fusion, Galaxy Cyclone, Shaylin, Shadal Fusion, Super Folly. So we're going to see, you know, Shadal Fusion in tier. That could be interesting. Um, summon effect, like if it resolves, like it's obviously going to be really, uh, really, really good. They draw on the fountain off of that. And then special summon blue, blue effect, go search, go grab jet. And then special out jet, jet effect to go search. And then jet's going to go grab smashers, overlay, go for gigantic, uh, gigantic effect, detach and go summon out swap frog. And then swap frog effect, go dump run and totem, swap, bounce back jet, link off, go into elf. And then Elf Effect, Summon Back Out Swap, and then Swap Frog Effect, Go Dumb Swap, uh, Banish the Swap Frog to Summon Out Running Totem, and then Overlay those, Go for Toad, Activate Fountain, Set Smashers, and then Set Freezing, and then Pass Turn. Uh, it could have also ended with an IP on board, but then we would have hurt our uh, follow up a little bit because we would have had no jet or swap in hand. Uh, they draw Aerial. Then go to main phase, they're going to start off by activating Shadal Fusion, and then in response they're going to chain Toad to negate, and then set that. Yeah, you may as well set it, just because like, if they make other Shadal Fusions, then at least they can't add this card back. Then they're going to activate Galaxy, popping the freezing, activate Shadal Fusion, then they're going to chain Elf. Okay, chain elf, target blue probably, and then chain smashers, banish gigantic, uh, just so that way the shadow fusion doesn't resolve for free. It will still resolve, uh, just not for free. Then they bring back blue, uh, they get to send Shaylin and Ariel, then summon window, and new chain link. Uh, chain link one aerial decides to not change Shaylin. Shaylin would be able to make uh, another window, assuming that they play two. Which, figure since it's tier, like you would play two just because even if you get hit with Dark Ruler, you could just like replace window with another window. And you're playing Shadow Fusions and stuff. So they're only going to activate aerial. So then we'll activate blue chain link two. We could have not activated blue and then just hit him with bell. We're gonna go search pixies. And then they're gonna banish window beat over. And I'm guessing they didn't summon this in attack because they weren't expecting Shadal Fusion to actually resolve and summon something. Pass, draw Ash Blossom. And then normal summon swap frog, special out jet. Jet effect to go search. Jet go grab starter. And then enter battle phase, attack. Drop Pixies. And then we can attack with Swap Frog. Uh, obviously, like we have full control of this game right now. We have Ash Blossom, plus we have some setup. We don't have our Ronin Totem or our Totally Awesome. But the opponent doesn't really have anything. We're going to go for Dark. Dark Effect. Do we just take Winda here? Yeah, it just takes Winda. Then we have Ash, Starter, Bell, they draw Miri, then go main phase, uh, they're going to activate Galaxy to pop Fountain, and then activate Super Poly to make Window, and then attack with 22, activate Starter, uh, Starter bring out Blue, and then Blue Effect, go search Jet, uh, so we have at least Sky Calvary. So that could be the out to it this time around. Normal summon Swap Frog, Overlay, and then go for Sky Calvary, Battle Phase Attack, and then we can bounce it. Yeah, then we have Jet. Um, 
What's a game if we did this differently? Hold on. If, if we just made a Soul Sweeper and Soul Sweeper banish it, and then Special Jet, Jet grab Starter, Starter grab Blue, Blue grab Red. Um, is that game? Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, trying to do the math in my head. That's 3,000 plus 13. That's 43. No, it's a little bit off, but I feel like there's a way to get it right because you could like elf summon back Oh, I, I can't do math in my head right now for some reason. I'm just like way off uh, But like soul sweeper Plus jet plus elf Plus pixies I feel like that's enough for game Um, Because that's 28 28 plus 22. Um, go downward and then Zeus. No, nah, there, there was a way. There was a way. I don't have a calculator, so it's hard, but there was a way. Uh, so many Ash Blossoms, by the way. Uh, we're going to activate Starter. Starter Summon Red. Um, then... We're missing 500, so we're going to link off, go on the elf, and then elf effect, summon back. They admit defeat. Going on to the next game now, we are going to see Yada go first. Opening hands, we have Flashing Fire, Ash, Carrot, Destruction, Blue. They have Rhino, Galaxy, Fusion Sub, Shaylin, and Hafinas. So they are playing Fusion Sub in their deck. You know, they were playing shit all Fusion. Um, they're going to go Shaylin, thinking if they want to Ash it. And they are going to let that go through. So get rid of Rhino, summon, mill three. And then Rhino effect, you know, hits like anti spell, super poly, camo. Uh, so Rhino's going to discard Hafina, summon out. And then Hafina's one, Rhino two. Rhino go dump. Uh, Rhino's now going to dump Miri. Hafina's going to put back, summon kit. And then kit effect. Uh, not using the mirror because we want to tag out into it. Um, kit effect now to tag out. Can't summon there and then effects. So we're going to get the mill 8. CBC Venus, Miri, Shaylin. Alright, now we're going to activate Miri, Shaylin effect. So then put back Shaylin and kit. Summon out Dragostalia. Put back Miri, Hafinas, and Rhino. Summon out Kaleido. Yeah, this just seems really bad. Like, even if we mill two tier names off of... Even if we mill two tier names that we haven't used, and an extra one, this play is still bad. Unless if we... Plan on linking these off in the elf? And like, that's still not good. Moment, Rhino. Oh, yeah, Rhino is someone off. Oh, my God. Now they're going to have to fix everything. <laughs> I'm saying, I, I, don't, I don't think this play was correct. There's just no way. It ha had to have been some, like, fusion sub route, right? That's what the play had to have been. When we had, like, Shaylin and Kit on board. Um, yeah, maybe we could have even Kit, Sun Shaylin, Summon Back, Miri, Miri Effect, Mill 3, then Fusion Sub those away, and then try doing it like that. But, we're gonna set Galaxy Pass to draw evenly. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this end board obviously isn't good. It's literally just Drago. And just Drago through an Ash Blossom is not good. And then we're gonna go Battle Phase. End of battle, activate evenly. Oh, they messed up. <laughs> now they have to fix everything. I guess they're not going to go back and fix the order of their deck. Okay, flashing fire, pop, banish, and then normal, special, effect to go search. So then blue is going to go search jet. And then we have like control of this game. Our opponent only has one card in hand. They'll have a top deck. We're going to have full sprite stuff rolling. 
uh, Gigantic, bring out swap, swap, go dump. Uh, okay, doesn't use swap affected dump. Oh, okay. Um, the opponent could have been like, oh, well, you declared it and then bounce back carrots. That's the effect you were using, not the effect on summon. And then elf effect, summon back swap. Swap, dump swap, banish it for running totem overlay, make totally awesome, set smash through, set MST, pass, they draw Solik. Set Solik, pass, draw evenly, and then they're gonna go draw phase. Why would you not pop it in their turn? Uh, I'm not too sure about that, okay. And then they're gonna get Salik effect to go search. That goes through. So Salik goes search for Phoenix. Now we do not have a battle phase. Um, so we're gonna go Toad, Detach, go Summon Swap. Yeah, we didn't have a battle phase this turn, even if we didn't use the MST, just cause we had flashing fire the turn before in our main phase two. So now we're going to go Elf, Summon back Blue, and then Blue Effect to go Search. That goes through. Blue goes Search Red. Special Summon Red, Overlay, Summon Gigantic, Gigantic Effect, Attach Swap to Summon, Summon out Ipra, and then Ipra Effect, draw Ash Blossom. Okay, so we traded Carrot for Ash, but there's no way that you knew you were going to draw Ash. Pass, they draw Gamma. And then they admit the fee, we're gonna see top deck number one is next. All right, uh, going ahead and hopping into that, we're going to see new blood versus top deck number one. And then we're gonna see top deck number one win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and they're gonna decide to go first 41 versus 42. Opening hands, we have Ash, Nib, Jet, Blue, Freezing. They have Freezing, Fountain, Tip, Heat Wave and Golden Droplets. So, Heat Wave's interesting. Uh, there's a few things about this card I want to bring up. First of all, it says you have to activate it at the start of your main phase one. So, you can't like fountain draw into this. It has to like strictly be in your opening hand. You can't extravagance draw into it or prosperity into it. You could play Majesty Spin. Majesty Spin game one does play into stuff like Dark Ruler, Imperm, and all that. Um, just some thoughts. And then they're gonna go draw phase, activate tip to search, and then go search MST, make them banish one, activate freezing to special now, and then that's gonna summon out Huggins, activate heat wave, then go fountain, golden droplet, make them draw one, banish four. There's a lot of runic cards banished. And then they're gonna go fountain effect to try to draw three. Then they're going to chain Ash Blossom on that. And pass turn, draw Running Totem. Yeah, that, <laughs> that did a lot for nothing. And they, they can't activate either of these. I don't know why they search Destruction. What's the point of searching MST? Well, also, why would you want to hold MST over Freezing Chain? I feel like there's a higher chance of an Imperm being better than an MST. I guess it's because your opponent wasn't summoning. Uh, we could have also played around Ash instead of searching Destruction. We could have gone ahead and searched Slumbers, and you can just activate Slumbers at any point. Um, that would have made us that way on our opponent's turn there. We could have went ahead and draw three, and then on our turn, you know, we'd start having our engine roll again. Uh, so we're just going to pass, they draw Swap Frog. Yeah, you see, like, they didn't really do anything. Now they're pretty far behind. Well, now, now they can activate their spells so they can draw, but they might not even draw into anything at this point. Summon out, res, activate, try to make him banish two, chain starter, okay, and then chain MST on starter. So we chain the MST on starter to make him banish three. Because this banishes four, but now that they have one less card, they're banishing one less off that. So we pretty much use this to make them banish three, just to get... It's not even like we're getting extra draws, because we already had three in Grave. But okay. Oh, they, oh, they hit Carrot there. 
Oh, hitting characters is insane because otherwise starter just summons carrot, carrot stops found, and that's just game. Wow. Maybe that's why they did it. It's because they had to hit carrot to stay in the game. Fountain to draw three. That kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Draw flashing, slumber, and called by. Flashing is decent, but freezing chains can trade with it. And then they're gonna overlay, go for toads, and by the way, 12 starter. Yep, yep. Always gotta lose the life points off that, and then special blue. Blue effect to go search. Blue, go grab pixies. And then special jet. Jet effect go search, and then jet go search starter, because smashers got banished, and we didn't side. Into more. This is game one. Yeah, uh, I'm about to say, I'm not used to heat wave in the main. It's just it's awkward. Uh, go for elf. Then elf effect. Summon back. Um, elf summon jet. Said big thing. Sorry. They're going to set starter. Set and then pass turn. Okay, so the big thing was leave him with a monster. If we leave him with a monster, they can't use one of their spells to special. We could have also summoned Toad where Elf was going to be. We definitely did not think our turn through very well there. Then they're going to activate Super Poly, getting rid of Red and Elf to summon Akarua. Okay, um... Then standby phase, toad effect, detached and special. So I guess it really didn't matter where we ended up summoning it. Then activate flashing, trying to pop swap frog. We're gonna chain toad. Uh, toad will send swap frog for cost, and then we're gonna take and set that. Link those off, go into a lina, and then we get to draw one off Garua. So the runic spell? Ah, yep, freezing. And they're going to activate freezing, targeting toad. And then chain starter. Uh, starter goes summon jet. And then we're going to have to lose life points. Banish the top three. Fountain effect to draw. Yeah, draw three goes through. That's kind of scary. Because they're going to put back. And then draws into flashing, allure, defissure. They still have one of their spells in graveyards. So... That means it's pretty much like an upstarting graveyard waiting to happen. Uh, Allure's not a great draw there. I'm going to activate it and then pass. They draw a bell. I guess, like, it's not the worst draw because like, it helps deck them out a little bit quicker. But at the same time, if this is like a real card, it would be better. Uh, the D fissure is pretty nice. They can't toad anymore because toad has to send the graveyard. We're going to use Flashing, Target Toad, Chain Freezing. So Freezing to Special Summon Out, and then Tag Out to Protect. Activate Allure and Fountain. They're not going to have to Banish because nothing was popped. Uh, remove for Allure only. Yeah, this is... They definitely activated it. It's Allure, Allure, Fountain... And they're going to chain bell. I said, nope, bell has to go to grave. It doesn't, right? Am I wrong? Um, discard this card. Nope, definitely can still activate here. I know ogres like that. Um, yeah, I don't know why they had them a little bit differently like that. But now we're going to see them summon out pixies. It looked like a normal... Yeah, normal summoned out pixie. I guess playing around demise of the land. And then link off, go for zero boros. Okay, definitely not playing around demise of the land. Because you would you'd special pixies, hope the demise of the land you, and then summon zero boros. Uh, banish swap for Ronin, chain called by. That's really tough. <laughs> banish Valor. And then battle phase skip because they specialed. Pass, you don't go main phase two by the way. They draw one day apiece, activate one day apiece. That's really, really, really good because they're almost decked out. 
And if we draw any runic card, yep, we just have infinite cards. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make them banished, we're gonna get a lure, we're gonna get fountain, we're gonna draw. Yeah, they admit defeat. So, going on into the next game now, we are going to see New Blood go first. Opening hands, we have Destruction, Ash, Starter, Harpies, Ash. They have Destruction, Fountain, Destruction, Golden Droplet, Pinkertops. And then activate Starter. Starter, Summon Blue. Blue, go grab Jet. And then after we grab Jet, we're going to go Main Phase. Special Jet. Jet effect goes search. Now we either search starter for more follow up or we search smashers. Yeah, smashers is really nice against that deck. Gigantic effect, detach go summon. Summon swap, swap, dump Ronin, go for elf. Elf effect, summon back. Uh, elf summon swap, swap effect, dump swap, banish swap, summon Ronin, Toten. Then we're going to overlay those, go for totally awesome, set smashers, set destruction, pass, draw tip, we're not going to toad effect in standby phase, and then go main phase, special summon out pinker tops, and then try to go battle phase, but we're going to elf summon blue, and then blue effect, uh, go search pixies, yeah it's going to force our opponent to play a little bit weird here. Uh, they're going to activate Tip to go search, Chain Ash Blossom on that, Destruction, pop their Destruction. They could have Chain Destruction, but then they have to skip their next battle phase, and that's not really worth it, uh, just to make them banish for. Activate Fountain. And then activate Golden Droplets, so we're going to draw Tip, then banish for. Fountain Effect, to try to allow them to draw, Chain Smashers. And then that is game. Um, so yeah, I was gonna, I guess there's no way to dodge smashers there. Yeah, so GG. Going on to the next game now, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to see top deck number one go first. I guess, like, there is like technically a way they could have played that differently, right? They could have gone into battle phase, activate one of the spells to special summon, try to summon fangs, fangs try to pop the back row, uh, they have pinker top set up, so they'd have to like, pixies out that, but you would just be able to tribute the pop, you wouldn't even attack with pinker tops, so, it was definitely a way to play that differently, um, just by simply like, entering the battle phase and using runic spells as pops by crashing with fang, I think there had to have been some way there. Um, to at least push through what was on field. Uh, but game three, opening hands, we have Jet, Starter, Cosmic, Judgment, Swap. They have Freezing, Destruction, Fountain, Terraforming, and Slumber. Then go main phase, activate Terraforming, Terraforming, go search, go grab Fountain. And then activate Fountain, Destruction, the special, go ahead and summon out Munnin. We're not going to use Munnin effect, we're going to Slumber on Munnin. Make them banish, and then fountain to try to draw two. Okay, and we didn't use mudden to go search for a lure or anything. We draw tip fountain. Okay, I guess we just activate fountain over fountain. And then activate tip. Tip go search, grab golden droplet, they banish one. And then activate golden droplet, make them draw one, and then banish four. So I really don't like making my opponent draw one, <laughs> turn one, but especially when, like, a lot of people, they're trying to draw, like, the back row hate against you, and you're just giving them, like, an extra draw, so they start with seven cards instead of six, and then fountain, put back, draw two, we draw heat wave tip, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, the heat wave's not very good here, where if we had, like, a Majesty's Fiend, and then... We could just like tribute for Majesty's Fiend, that'd be very, very strong. The, the usually what this deck does, they like normal summon, special summon. Sky Calvary, attack, downard Zeus, pass, but you can deal with that. Like you could just activate tip, go search the offerings to the doom, pop Zeus, pass, draw destruction. 
Cosmic, Target Fountain, Chain... Well, they were also supposed to gain a 1,000 off of this. Um, but they're going to Cosmic, Target Fountain, Chain, uh, Banish to Negate and Destroy, and then Cosmic, they're going to Chain Tip, and then Tip Go Surge. They could have also set Freezing Chains to try to play around this better, but I guess it's not worth it, because if you get hit with, like, a Harpies, then... All your back rows gone. The Harpies, a Lightning Storm, both those would have been very, very solid there. And then they banish a blue off the top. Uh, activate starter. Said so misclick. Yeah, trying to do this in draw phase, not main phase. But summon, lose life points, effect to go search. Then that's going to go search carrot. Special summon out carrot, special summon jet, jet effect. So I need to do 8,000 damage. Go search smashers, overlay, go into gigantic, gigantic effect, detach, go summon pixies, normal summon swap, swap dump Ronin. Bro, your hands is insane. All games, you just build different. Lol. Uh, I'm also thinking like if we. It's a just normal summon swap first before making gigantic swap dump elf summon back and then we make gigantic with elf. Man, I really can't do math in my head today. That's so bad. I, I can't do the math at all. I, just, I have to have a calculator right now. I don't know why. Uh, elf summon swap, swap effect go dump, dump swap frog. Uh, then we're gonna banish swap, summon out running toad and overlay, go for toad, battle phase, attack for what's not game, which is unfortunate. So then we're gonna go main phase two, set, 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 pass, draw heat wave, then go main phase, uh, I mean, you could start off by activating Heat Wave, but then you can't summon off your Runic spells. It stops them from summoning back Toad. It possibly could bait out a negate. Okay, so we're going to go Main Phase, activate Flash and Fire to Special. Oh, we should have done this during Draw Phase, right? Summon out Fangs. Fangs effect to try to grab back Field Spell. Um... Sure. Don't you just let that go through? Because, like, who cares that they have the field spokes? You have destruction that can pop it, and they have the fusion up here, so you're not going to be able to, like, summon something else to protect. We're going to toad, and we're going to toad this, then elf on toad. Chain freezing on elf, chain carrot tribute pixies, they admit defeat. GG. GG, insane hand. Hand grind. GG, good luck. Alright, and we are going to see the Iron Man end. The Sprite Runic deck ends up beating both the opponents. Um, 2-0, we didn't even get to see what their teammate was on. Uh, that was a match. I, I didn't expect people to take like Runic into Iron Man's. A little bit risky, especially when people try to play more neutral decks, which means a lot of people play Sprite, just because Sprite has a pretty decent matchup against everything around the board. So I, I feel like Runic Sprite and Adventure Sprite is probably what's played a lot in these. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.